All right, FSD beta 10.12.2. Today I am going to do a bunch of complicated turns that the car doesn't usually do very well. I haven't done some of these in a while though, so I thought I'd see how it does. Technically it's 25, but you don't want to go 30 through that spot. Um, shoot. I wish I could set up a route and have it just follow that route. Um, and also, um, it's not letting me, oh my gosh. Okay. I wish it was easier to remove stops because to set up this route, I had to set a lot of stops as you saw on that list. Um, a lot of waypoints and then I have to remove those before I get to them or the car will stop or try to reroute backwards. All right, so basically, once I get through this roundabout, I have to remove the next one. Once I make the next turn, I'll have to remove another one. So I'm constantly removing these, and to do that, I have to look at the screen, and then it tells me to pay attention to the road. So, yeah, once I get through this roundabout, I'll remove a stop. All right, did that really well. The turn signals are kind of crazy. I'm sure it confuses everyone. Why am I putting all these turn signals on different directions back and forth? But I mean, it makes the, the turn through the roundabout fine. I just don't think it does a good job with turn signals. So once again, I'll have this ready to remove. So as soon as I turn onto this road, I've got to remove the next stop. Will it turn? Will it make this turn? Uh -huh. Yes, it did really well. It's not done that well since 9.2 which is almost a year ago. All right, so basically after I make the next two left turns, I have to remove a stop quickly um, and then another left and remove another stop.
All right, so this turn, it has never done before. It's never made this turn up ahead. <clears throat> it's a steep left. Um, oh my gosh. Nope. It just, wow. <laughs> okay. I spun the tires a little bit as it tried to go too quickly up the hill. All right, it did this one okay. I'm gonna slow it way down. Um, what? It should stay more to the right. I know it's trying to avoid the uh, Trying to avoid the bushes. Uh, nope. So, yeah, I need to remove that stop. Um, no, 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 no. It should not go 25 miles per hour. 10 is the max up here. Um, so yeah, it was, for some reason it tries to avoid the bushes more than the cars. doesn't make sense. I would rather it hit some uh, leaves than side of a car. All right, so this one is sharp. This is not a turn. The road just curves. So that's two disengagements. Kind of expected. This turn, um, yeah, it's kind of jerky, but did it. There's a car behind me, of course. We'll see. As you can see, I'm like going really steep downhill. I was above that building right there and now I'm going down to road level. Um, and here you can see, I cannot see to the left at all, at all. I'm leaning way forward and I had to hit the brakes. Um, yeah, I am leaning all the way above the steering wheel right now. And you can see it's so steep that the front uh, ultrasonics actually warn you that you're going to hit something. Um, so, yeah. So this is another issue. It puts me in the left lane and then back in the right there. There wasn't a car behind me, so I let it do it. But normally if, you know, you wouldn't want to get in the left lane because then you'd be stuck in the left lane and hope that somebody let you back over. So that's three disengagements, which were completely expected. Um, I thought it was going to make that first turn up the hill. Um, that's the first time it's actually turned onto the road a little bit, but then it started pulling back to the right, and I'm not sure why. I'll have to look at the visualization and see where the tentacle was pulling it. Um, I'm going to guess it started making the turn and then lost all confidence. Just a guess.
right. That was kind of jerky there. So speed limit's 20 here, and it needs to stay at 20. It didn't even recognize that sign. Um, I would actually keep it probably below 20. All right, so as soon as it makes this turn, I need to remove yet another stop or it will reroute me to the right. Right. Is it going to make this turn? Sometimes. Okay. Um, previous versions, it would just go right past that road. Even though it showed it on the map, it turned on the turn signal, it would just drive right past it. Um, and then finally, this turn at the bottom of the hill. Previous versions have never made this. So we'll see how it does. Um, it would jerk to the left and right and then kind of be going straight into the grass across the street. Um, it's a very sharp right and you're pointing downhill. Um, normally I would never choose to make this turn. I would never purposely go this way um, to get to that destination, but this is actually the direction it usually takes me because technically it's one minute quicker than the other direction. Um, and then if a car is coming from the right, then there's really no room, but right now it's clear. And, <laughs> nope, <laughs> it totally missed it. <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah, so that's exactly what it's always done. Um, <laughs> so there we go. Um, no real improvements. Uh, it still can't handle most of those turns. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of work to do still. Um, anyway, uh, thanks a lot for watching this one. I'll see you next time.